Do I look here? I should be looking here, not here, because that's the viewfinder. Oh, this is what happens when you just upgrade your life. You just don't even know where to look. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney Marlowe Weeks. If you don't know who I am, thank you for tuning in. If you do know who I am, thank you for coming back. On this channel, we do beauty, business, and lifestyle all luxuriously, of course. Today's video is a beauty video and I'm so excited for it, but I need you to do two things first before we get into it. Number one, make sure to hit the subscription button down below, hit the red subscribe button down below, subscribe to the channel, join the family. You're here, you might as well. And number two, also follow me right here on Instagram. They always see it first so make sure you follow me on this platform as well first and foremost we have a new camera like we are upgrading for the new year we're already in 2021 and i'm so excited because my last camera broke so this is the last time we're going to be in the kitchen i'm going to go back to our original setup just because i'm just working this out today you know bear with me but we'll be back to our original setup but we do have a new camera so let's look at the quality okay but today's video is a beauty video if you would like to see more beauty videos especially ones that are luxurious like this okay talking about luxury pieces that make you look luxurious luxurious but it's not tacky it's not flashy it's not overwhelming but make sure to give this video a thumbs up right now just so I know you're enjoying this type of content and that's what you would like to see in the future so today we are talking about and this is something that I'm going to weave into the platform into the channel but we're talking about luxury pieces how to look more luxurious in the new year how to look more luxurious right now our goal is to always be affluent wealthy luxurious classy chic elegant all of those things but it starts now I find two things I find that either one when we don't have it we are too scared to pretend that we're already in the act of it we're too scared to start acting luxurious or trying different things or investing in pieces because we're like oh no we don't have the finances or we don't have the look or we don't have the aesthetic or the mindset for the aesthetic yet or number two we go ahead and buy all of these luxurious pieces and then we wear 30 designers in one outfit it just doesn't look nice. It looks very tacky. It looks like you're, it's, it's overwhelming. It looks pressed. It looks forced. So I want us to eliminate those two things. Even though we might not be at our end goal and we'll never be at our end goal because we're always progressing, number one. But you need to start now. Whatever finances you're working with, whatever aesthetic you're trying to go for in the future, start working with it now. I have low-end brands, I have high-end brands that I will be showing in these videos. Today we're talking about cashmere, I'm so excited. And I asked specifically on Instagram because I've been seeing this a lot is, would you like to see how to look more luxurious, still affordable, some low prices, some high prices, depending upon what your budget is, but looking luxurious and not looking pressed, forced, overwhelming, like you have every single designer item that you own in one outfit. I think that's what we wanna get away from in 2021. That is the start of that series for today. So with that being stated, our first part of the series, the first video of the series, and I'm gonna call it how to look more luxurious. But today we're gonna to be talking about cashmere. Cashmere is something that I love so much. Many affluent people love very much so as well. And I feel like it's a very underestimated, underrated piece of clothing slash material that a lot of people don't really know about. It's really not spoken upon unless it's in the circle of wealthy or affluent already. They know about it for like centuries, but it's just such a great piece to have. And there's all different types of cashmere that you can have. I will have a definition right here uh, so you can see that for your viewing matter of fact let me read you this little blurb right here i'll put it here so you can screenshot it but cashmere is a wool material it's made from i think either sheep or goats pretty sure that it's goats it's a specific it's like either a kashima or some type of goat that they use hold on please hold okay so cashmere wool usually simply known as cashmere is a fiber obtained from cashmere goats Pashmina goats, that's the goat I was talking about. And some other breeds of goat, it has been used to make yarn, textiles, and clothing for hundreds of years, centuries. The fiber type is animal fiber because it's coming from an animal, it's coming from a goat. The source is a cashmere goat, which is once again that pashmina goat. It is a rarity, unlike cotton, so cotton you can mass produce goats with their wool you're not going to be able to mass produce that that's why it is more expensive it's also more luxurious as well so that is why that price point is like that characteristics light soft strong and warm which it is we will get into that and typically used in sweaters scarves, socks blankets trousers gloves pajamas hat jackets and outer coats 
commonly available in the United States, India, Turkey, Pakistan, Iran, Mongolia, and Afghanistan, and more countries. So that is what cashmere is essentially. You can have cashmere sweaters, which is my favorite. You can have cashmere blends, which might be in like a coat. You can have cashmere socks, which keeps your toesies warm in the winter time. I like those as well. But cashmere is a really great, great luxurious piece to invest in. It automatically elevates any outfit that you wear, more so than cotton, rayon, any type of material that is a little bit less luxurious, a little bit on the lower price point. I did pull some pieces that I have in my closet of cashmere. I'm just gonna be showing sweaters today, but it can vary for socks, coats, undergarments. Price points can range with everything. You can always find a really great sale and I'll tell you some of the stores I like to buy from. But with cashmere, I think that it is one of the top pieces that you should invest in in your transformation journey. Let go of your cotton sweaters. They don't last long. They're usually very thin. They're usually not the best made. Um, sometimes they only last maybe a couple of months where cashmere sweaters I've literally had for like over five years. Now washing wise, let's get into it. You cannot wash cashmere. You have to get it dry clean. So that is something that you want to consider before purchasing. If you wash your cashmere sweaters, you will be very, very upset. Wool, you should never wash. You should always get dry clean. So just keep that in mind. Cashmere is a softer wool. So even though it is still just as warm, it is going to be a lot softer. It's not itchy. It's very comfortable, breathable, and it's super warm and great to layer with in those fall and winter months. So I wrote this down in three pieces that we're going to do today. So I have my cashmere sweaters. This is just a part of my collection, some pieces that I pulled. I'm going to show you three different categories, three different categories. Number one is going to be your classic pieces. So the cashmere you should automatically invest in, the cashmere that you should have these colors in, looks great on everybody, just universal. Number two is going to be your signature pieces. So once you start building your collection, you're going to want to get some different cashmere pieces that look good with your skin tone. You're going to invest further in those colors. I'm going to show you that side as well. Then the third part of this is going to be your more elegant flamboyant pieces. So your colors, your prints of cashmere. That's how we're going to break it down. Let's get into the basics right now, our classic cashmere pieces. So these are my classic cashmere pieces right here. So I have a tan, a navy, a cream, and a black. These four specifically are all the Neiman Marcus brand. Now, when I am buying cashmere, let me put these down so I can tell you. I either shop from Neiman Marcus brand collection. They have a whole cashmere collection. It's fabulous. You can usually find them on sale. It ranges from $150 to $350. I have paid the price of $150 all the way to $350 for some of these sweaters. If you're looking for a lower price point, you can always go to Macy. Charter Club has great two-ply cashmere sweaters. So great. So the difference between a one-ply and a two-ply is I only buy two-ply cashmere just because it's a lot more thick, it's a lot more warm. In my opinion, it's better made. However, you can get a one-ply, it is going to be cheaper, but I think if you're gonna invest in something high quality and it's already on sale or at a great price point, make sure to get the two-ply because it's gonna last longer, it's gonna be warmer, it's gonna be more cozy. That's the difference between one-ply and two-ply cashmere, but I like to specifically get it either from Neiman Marcus brand or I'll buy them from Macy's. Sometimes you can even go, I found cashmere sweaters at TJ Maxx. They had charter club there and I got them for like 20 bucks and they were originally like $120, $150. You can always go to Lord & Taylor's and find cashmere. You can always go to Nordstrom, Saks, Neiman's, any of those stores like that. They might have sales, but usually your price range is gonna be $150 to about $350. There's cashmere that's literally like tens of thousands of dollars, like coats and different sweater dresses and stuff like that. But your sweaters usually are standard about $150 to $350. Anything more than that, you're either getting like a print, a specific color, a specific cut or style. That's like the extra stuff but your basic crew neck cashmere sweaters 150 to 350. So these are my classics right here. I love this camel color because I just feel like it just looks so great with my skin tone. Like I'm very, very warm and yellow. So anything that's camel, tan, neutral is gonna look really great on me. I think that a camel can look good on anybody because it is a neutral color. So I would definitely get the camel color. I would definitely go ahead and get this navy color. I love this navy from Neiman's because it's just such a rich navy. Like I know you guys can see this because we have a new camera and the quality is 100%. But I just love this color right here. It is just such a rich navy. I would always get a cream. You can never go wrong with the cream. You can even transition this into the cooler months of spring. And then your standard black. I have like five black 
Neiman Marcus cashmere. It's just because I wear these all the time as a layering piece and I also wear them by themselves. If your favorite color and you just love wearing camels or you love wearing navy or you love wearing cream, invest in like four to five cashmeres when you have the funds to. But I think it's just really smart to invest in these staple pieces. These you can wear any type of outfit. You can wear, you know, casual or dress them up. And I just think having a staple cashmere piece, especially having more of the colors that you really go towards and wear every single day is really good to have. So now moving on to signature pieces, I love camel. I think that camel, neutral, tan, all of those different types of colors just look so great with my skin tone. So these are some of the pieces that I invested in after I got my basics. Then I started investing in my signature pieces and colors. So I'm gonna go through these. This one right here is a nice little camel with black detailing. It kind of reminds me of snake skin, but this one is from Neiman Marcus and I really love this as well. I love that it's two-tone with the black and the camel. It even has hints of brown in it so I can wear it with multiple outfits. So then I got this like mustard yellow camel right here. This is actually from Tahari as you can see. And I really like this. I actually found this at TJ Maxx and like I said, it was only like 30 or 20 bucks. So I think that was a really great steal for cashmere. This is two ply cashmere by Tahari. And you can see it because it'll say it on the tag. So like right here, you see that it says Tahari two ply 100% cashmere. So that's what you want to see when you are looking for cashmere. It'll say it right on the tag or it'll even say it on the price tag that it's two ply 100% cashmere. So I really like this color. I think that the mustard color looks really great. I can even wear it in fall, can wear it in spring. Just a great color to have. And it's still in that camel base of signature collection for me. And then another signature I Got. this is once again Neiman Marcus brand but I got this turtleneck camel color this one is a little bit more neutral it's a little bit of a deeper camel it's not so much bright and light and yellow but I really really love this one this one did cost me more because it is a turtleneck so a crew neck is going to be your standard but when you have more added material it's going to cost you more money so keep that in mind but I really really love this for my signature piece to add to my collection this is the last bit which is going to be your elegant flamboyant and I love elegant flamboyant because it's just how you can add color and prints and textures and style to your classy chic classic look but yes this is some of the colors that I brought from my collection so I have two reds right here I have a blue like a cobalt I have a fuchsia and also the zebra print and then a teal down here and I'm going to say when you are doing colors it's really important to know your color chart as well for what's going to flatter you the most I find that bold colors look best with my skin tone where like muted colors or even pastels can kind of mute me out or kind of just not make my skin pop or the outfit pop how I want it to. And be careful with that when you see cheap cashmere because usually what will happen is it'll be at its original price point and go on sale, that's fine. But if you see cashmere starting off of the bat just like regular price at like $30, it's probably gonna be super itchy, super not well made. It's gonna start peeling. It's going to, it's just not gonna be it. So only buy the cashmere that's on sale if you're looking for a lower price point. But if you have the funds and you have the aesthetic to invest in it, get the cashmere, stop buying cotton. It's really, really great quality. Just lastly, a few tips, make sure to get it dry clean. Make sure that you don't put it in the washer because you will ruin it. And when doing your collection, start with your classic basics first. So get the black, the navy, the cream, and you know, the camel. And then you want to start with your signature collection. So what color looks best on you out of the classic colors, the neutrals. And then invest in those pieces. So like I got the five blacks, I got a couple of the camels. I know that those colors look good on me. So I got a variance of them in different styles, different cuts, just to add to the collection. And then lastly, worry about your color. Worry about your elegance flamboyant. You don't want to go ahead and just right off the bat get color because you might not even know how to style that yet. So stick with the basics work to the signature and with the color. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I've been doing 30 and we've been getting into it quickly. So actually let's do 40 likes. And if we do 40 likes, I'll do the next luxurious video to the series. So leave some comments down below on what you wanna see, how you want to look more luxurious or different pieces you might know that makes you look luxurious on the daily. So let me know down in the comments. I love talking to you. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? Subscribe down below hit the bell notification so you can see when I post and that's it for this video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!